Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be making three different projects and I'm starting off by spray painting this ball in these aluminum foil rolls. I'm reusing these bowls that I used in a previous project and I'm using my scissors to cut my blue painter's tape to make the edges straight as possible. I'm only cutting the side of the tape that's going to be on the outside of the bowl. The other side of the tape will be tucked away. This is what I have so far and for this next step I'm using my white premium acrylic paint and I'm painting the small spaces in between the tape. Okay, so I let this dry for a few hours and I'm peeling the tape off very slowly to keep the lines as straight as possible. So this is what I have so far and now I'm placing more tape down, getting my lamp ready for my mixture. And now it's time to apply the mixture and I'm using some Mod Podge and Silver Glitter. I'm loving the way this is looking so far and now it's time to peel off the tape and once again I'm peeling the tape off slowly to keep the lines as straight as possible. Of course it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it but that's okay because I will be covering this up a little later on in the video. These aluminum foil rolls is for project number one and two and I'm using that same Mod Podge mixture to glam them up. I'm using these beaded necklaces to hide slash outline the imperfections from the Mod Podge mixture. This is what it's looking like and I'm repeating those same steps for the other bowl. Now it's time to decorate my aluminum foil roll. I'm using more beaded necklaces and clear acrylic gems and I don't know if y'all can see this line on my aluminum foil roll but I'm basically following that line and I'm gluing the beaded necklace along the entire aluminum foil roll. I'm following that same line and I'm gluing the flat part of my gemstone. Now I'm flipping the top part of my lamp over and I'm going to glue the aluminum foil roll to the center of my lampshade. I'm adding this napkin ring to the top center of my lamp to make it look more realistic.
for this last step, I'm gluing these two push lights to the inside of my bowl slash lampshade and I wrapped them with my silver metallic tape. And once I was done with this step, I removed any excess glue strings, did my setup, and then I had something that looked like this. This was a quick and easy DIY lamp and I'm loving the way it turned out. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For project number two, I'm basically completing the same exact steps as I did for the aluminum foil roll in project number one, but for the gems, I'm basically gluing them down at an angle slash on the side. I have absolutely no idea where I got this ball from, but I'm using it in my project today and I'm basically gluing the bowls around the ball to create a design that I just came up with in my head. Y'all will see in a second why I should have covered this ball with some type of diamond wrap or something. So I don't like how you can see the glue through the spaces and initially I was trying to place the diamond wrap in between which you guys will see in a second but it wasn't quite working out because the spaces were too tight so I ended up taking all of this apart off camera and just applying the diamond wrap all over the ball and then reapplying the bowls. As y'all can see, this looks so much better and I'm going to glue this to the top of my aluminum foil roll. I'm gluing these three mirror tiles to three of the bowls just so they don't look so plain. I love how this turned out. It's definitely a unique piece. It can also be used as a lamp as well. I put a push light at the top just to give you guys an idea of how it may look. You can't really see because the light's on, but this is just an idea. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Now we on to project number three and I'm using these two big bowls and also these two smaller bowls and also this 12 by 12 glitter paper that I purchased from Michaels. I'm making two candle holders and for this step I'm just cutting out a rectangle piece and then I'll be cutting this down into strips. To glam these up a little bit more, I'm gluing strips of this diamond wrap in between the glitter paper. Now I'm gluing my beaded necklaces to the four corners of the bigger bowl. Thank you. 
Of course, I didn't put candles inside of these because these can be used for a multitude of different things and I'm loving the way it looks with my Paris decor that I purchased from Dollar Tree. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.